places in the entire Bible you find the Trinity concept and all those two are debunked by the Christian scholars themselves you know we do not have to do this thing subhanallah Allah has given all privileges all prerogatives all things in our hands the haq but unfortunately we are not doing our jobs Allah Azim, we are not doing we are so helpless we are so confused we don't know what's what we have to talk what the how the what's the way we should talk our training is lost we do not know our own tenets we do not know our own dogmas we are so weak in our own we are questioning on our own religion subhanallah this is the sad part irony of fate fitna the dajjal the trials and the commotion of the dajjal this will happen prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that the confusion the dichotomy ambivalence will prevail among my ummah and this is one of the signs of the yawm al qiyamah trinity two places matthew chapter 28 verse 19 where jesus is supposed to be saying baptize my people in the name of father son and holy ghost joseph ratzinger this former german pope who passed away he said in his book that this formula of trinity is the addition into the later text and it is not came from the city of jerusalem rather it was added later from the city of rome and jesus christ never been to rome and he said that this originally this trinitarian formula was not in the text it is the later addition go and ask joseph ratzinger and if you say that no he was not the christian that this is the protestant's point of view then please for your kind information they came before you they are more orthodox than you after the eastern orthodox churches after you you came so later by the the inspiration of martin luther and kelvin so you need to watch your own house first sweep your own doors then you have to talk to about other people so he said this is it and the second thing where you find this formula second epistle of john chapter 5 verse 7 where it's written that there bear, that there bear three records in the heaven father and the son and the holy ghost and all these three are one you see sickness i just cleared that sickness in the beginning that god in the quran is alone not one he's alone you can't add anything to the loneliness He's alone. He is alone in his dominion. He is the king. وَقُلْ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي لَمْ يَتَّخِذْ وَلَدًا وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ شَرِيكًا فِي الْمُلْكِ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ وَلِيٌّ مِنَ الذُّلِّ وَكَبِّرْهُ تَكْبِيرًا Allah, He is the one who is the real king. He does not need anyone. He has no children. He has no friends. He doesn't need any help. He is totally alone in his own dominion and power. And sublime glory so what you ought to do everyone oh mankind say then glorify him alone as jesus christ said in john chapter 17 that oh my father i have finished the work you gave us to me and what was the work that i had glorified thee that thou art the only true god and jesus christ whom thou hast sent what is the meaning of thou art the only true god what is the meaning of only in your own English language that only means you are the only true God so who is Jesus then how can another God is saying that you are the only true God then who was he see you know that Christianity has nothing nothing to do with all these things you know that these are the handwritten books you know in your hearts Many pastors, many big, big deities of Doctor of Divinity in Christianity, they do not believe that Jesus Christ is God anymore. 